Now, having served as the national president of the Student Council, and I thank Kenya Secondary School Sets Association for giving me that privilege, boys in our institutions face what we call male chauvinism, where it is believed we boys have the mandate to revolutionize this society no matter what. So the society has been expecting us to perform without proper resources. We have seen many organizations coming to the rescue of the girl child. We are only being condemned. Is it by accident that our boys today in the society are crying of no responsibility in terms of handling their emotions? While the Constitution in the Article 55 of the Constitution speak of the government affirmative action to protect our young people against the cultural, harmful cultural practices, we only see organizations coming to the rescue of the girls. Where is the fate of the boy child? The boy child is left to survive on his own. If we are not keen, 10 years down the line, we are going to run insufficient of responsible and accountable young people. As boys are running from their responsibility as a result of negligence in the society. Some girls' school could be banned and the blame was always raised uh, on, the boy, on the boy child. When the society is busy empowering girl child, the boys are busy talking about the way they're going to revenge to their counterparts. That is why today, if you see a girl school performing better than girls, the state will echo a lot of congratulation messages to them. What happens in the case of the boys? We are expected to perform without motivation. When the society applauds a girl child too much because of their continuous improvement as a result of the many resources invested to ensure they improve, let us think of our contribution to the diminishing, to the devaluing, and to the humiliation that the boys face in our today's society. 